The Animals in War dedication was created in 2012 by Canadian artist and sculptor David Clendenin to honor the role animals played in war. The footprints of dogs, horses, and mules are stamped into the concrete. A bronze life-size statue of a medical service dog wearing an authentic medical backpack stands guard over the dedication. It is symbolically set next to the South African War Memorial, a battle for which Canada supplied 50,000 horses for mounted troops. Horses carried mounted troops and hauled field guns and supplies, including food. Field guns were pulled by teams of six to 12 horses. The dead and wounded were carted away in horse-drawn ambulances. During the First World War, 8 million horses were killed and another 2.5 million were injured as they transported soldiers and supplies to the battlefields. Dogs used as messengers, medical assistants, bomb detectors, and search and rescue workers. They were fitted with gas masks and parachuted behind enemy lines. A casualty dog would carry medical equipment to an injured soldier so they could treat themselves and would also stay beside a dying soldier to keep them company. More than a million dogs died in World War I. Cats. An estimated 500,000 cats were dispatched to the trenches where they killed rats and mice. Rats and mice would eat into the provisions and spread disease among the soldiers. Some were also used as gas detectors and others carried messages onto the battlefield with notes around their necks. Carrier pigeons delivered messages to specific destinations. Pigeons were trained birds which could fly at 40 kilometers per hour or faster, relaying messages back from the front lines to headquarters. They were used to report cases of sinking or crashed ships and submarines. They are often more reliable and secure than using radio. More than 100,000 were used in World War I.